gives a what if parameter is being used. We can have an example of a feedback system using what if parameter. So as an introduction, we can discuss what if parameter. So it is the ability to dynamically transform your data. So what, what if this parameter is basically used by the user so it is to get the user dynamic information like for example for getting the rolling 12 month sales or rolling six month sales etc by using the, by the use of slicer so it is only available in power bi desktop in the service it is not available uh, this is basically used for user interaction the person who is going to interact with the uh, Power BI uh, desktop is going to, I mean, the user is going to uh, use this uh, what if parameter, I mean, the slicer. Basically, it will be a slicer. So, of course, the, the value which is uh, used in the slicer will be a measure. Obviously, it should be a DAX measure so that uh, the measure will be changing dynamically so since it is dynamic and it is very fast so there are certain don'ts uh, which we have to be very careful because we should not give any server address or you should not uh, use this for changing the source because it will changing the source and all it will take time and since it is dynamic and it's not uh, it's not basically if you if you check it uh, if, what if uh, the parameter is used for user interaction? So all this changing of the source and all are not done by user, it is uh, done in the backend. So there is no need to use this uh, changing the source and server address using what if parameter. So main, the main difference between the what if parameter and the query parameters are query parameter is used to uh, do the changing of the data source or transformations uh, dynamically and what if are used for user interaction to change a calculation dynamically so it is like basically changing the calculation like rolling uh, changing the month sales uh, or ygd and all those things you can change it dynamically for the user you give it, give it a change dynamically for the users so here in the modeling tab uh, new parameter if you click you can get the what if parameter so we'll check how what are things are there inside what if parameter? So if you take the what if parameter, if you, if you click here, we will be getting a, a pop-up window like this. And uh, here there are four, six fields which are there, which we need to use it. So the first is the name. If you are creating a feedback form, uh, you can just write the name as feedback and the data type, what uh, value, what value you are going to give to this minimum, maximum. So since we are dealing with numbers, we, you can give it a whole number. So for minimum, for the feedback, you need one to five. So you can give any value with respect to the data which you are using. Right now we are creating a feedback form which should be one to five. One being the lowest and five being the highest. So we can give one here and we can give five here and the increment, how much you have to increment. You know, like for the feedback form, it should be one, two, three, four, and five. So you need to increment it by one. So you can give it one here. And the default, it will be one itself. And the default is not needed for the feedback form. And uh, since it is uh, being shown through a slicer, you need to uh, select this. This will be already selected as a default option. So this is the, this is what we need to uh, do in what if parameter uh, for dynamically proving the dynamically moving the values. Now we need to create a column uh, uh, and uh, for the emojis. I mean, so feedback we need to show the emojis. But for connecting with the parameter, you need to create a measure and uh, you can select that measure with the slicer. So what we can do is that we can go for the example feedback, feedback form and we can create the parameter. What if 
So this is the parameter and you are going to give this name as feedback form. And uh, the data type will be whole number. So as I told, uh, minimum should be, it can be for one since it is a feedback form and maximum is five and increment and default value if you can give anything you can give otherwise uh, this is uh, optional if you want you can give otherwise uh, you can just leave it i'm just giving it as one now add to this page a slicer to this page so slicer will be shown so we got a slicer and uh, the slicer name is there and if you check this will be one yeah this is one two three four and five what we have to do is that we need to create an emoji here and uh, with respect to the feedback whatever we are um, moving in the slicer it should uh, the emoji should be changed dynamically uh, so we'll try to do that and uh, see once we created here you got a table here and of course a measure here so this measure has to be we need to create a column for emojis so we can uh, take the data view and here we need to create a column for emojis so create a new column And the column name can be emoji. We can use a switch statement. Switch true. So what we need to check is this feedback value. If it is one, then it should be the emoji should be angry. Uh, the switch statement uh, should go like that. So, in that value equals one. Then, emoji how to get the emoji is uh, you need to press the window key and the dot key, you will get the emojis. And uh, you can take the angry one, and one is enough. Now, feedback dot value equals two so that will be same thing windows key and press and that can be uh, sad now feedback value equals three that can be Uh, fine. Now feedback value dot equals four, then it should be a little bit happy. So feedback value equals, or you can um, give it in the else statement. Anyway, I'm giving it in the uh, and another case statement and it will be happy so we got the emojis here now what we need to do is uh, since the slicer is a this slicer obviously you know about the slicer slicer will affect the entire page unless and until we so we have the slicer here and uh, what we can do is that we need to show the emoji so what we are taking the card and in the card we are going to paste the card we are going to place emojis and uh, once you change the emojis uh, 
So once you change the slicer value, the images will change. Yeah. So this is one example which we can uh, use to demonstrate the what if parameter. So now, see the slicer I am changing to two and the emoji is changed dynamically and I'm changing to three and it is changed. I'm changing to four, it is changed and I'm happy with five and it is changed. So, so these kind of things, these kind of uh, uh, dynamically changing what user can change. Those things are done with the use of what is parameter. So if you need any clarification regarding this, you can comment uh, below and uh, you can enjoy you know, you can try with the same thing you can try with uh, you, know, you can try this uh, for rolling 12 months sales rolling six months sales or three months and uh, you can try and see if there is any um, help you need you can come it so that i'll be trying it uh, the time itself so have a nice day thank you